Good morning, John Wilson from Orbital Fasteners again. Uh, just uh, another video regarding the repair of these warehouse guide rails. We're drilling some holes today using a rotor broach element magnetic drill. I am a great advocate of using the oil tank on the back of the machine. On this side, there is a kind of motorcycle uh, fuel tank kind of tap well there certainly used to be they used to be like that when i rode motorcycles um, i like using the oil because i actually find that the slug ejection from the cutter is much more assured um, it really does surprise me sometimes when i go out to site or fabrication shops the amount of people that like to just spray oil at them and then the oil sprays off or lubricant sprays off and very often the plug gets stuck. I'm not going to say that I don't suffer with the plugs getting stuck in sometimes, but they come out an awful lot easier. The great thing about the oil running down from the tank is that it's actually going through the cutter, through the centre, down the uh, centre pilot pin and it cools the cutter an awful lot better and, um, and the cutters last a lot longer and drilling is just generally easier. If any of you are wondering why I've got stickers over these gloves, it's because they're not a type that we stock, although I'm actually quite pleased with them. Um, they're just some samples that I grabbed off our buyer's desk to do this job. It's sensible to be wearing gloves doing this kind of work uh, because the swarf that comes off these machines is very sharp. I'm doing the sensible thing, putting a dustbin underneath the job. I use this guard Put it down and most of the swarf will drop into the bin which just makes life a bit easier i've marked out the holes they're all center punched all i have to do is move the machine about and i can actually feel the center pilot pin drop into the center punch hole it's um Machines are an awful lot more affordable now. I seem to think that we actually do one now for less than £200 plus VAT. Um, the great thing about the 240 volt is that you don't have to lug a transformer about, although I realise that on site you can't actually use one. But uh, we seem to sell a lot of 240s to people like plumbers who um, I guess do domestic work or, or somehow get away with it. On site. Anyway, you can see the oil dribbling out of the cutter. I've located the pilot pin in the center punch hole. Jay comes around here. We turn the magnet on so the machine is now locked to the steelwork and I press the button and the motor will run. If ever you happen to turn the magnet off accidentally, the motor will stop running but not on some models it does stop immediately, on most it doesn't. Here we go, so push the button. Put the guard down. Actually, I won't put the guard down so you can see what's going on. This is, this is the slug that comes out of the cutter and as I say because I've lubricated it it just pings out. You might notice this flange on it which actually means that you can only drill realistically single pieces of steel. If you're drilling two pieces of steel together you would have to stop and retrieve the slug from the top piece of metal before continuing on with the other. There are mag drill cutters about that will drill laminates of metal, but in 40 years I've never sold one, but I know that they exist. 
Anyway, we'll carry on and do another one. So, I'm turning the magnet off now, which allows me to push the machine along to the next mark. Drop the pin down onto the metal. It deflects very slightly and then drops into my ready center punch. So once again, I turn the magnet on. I can then, I'm gonna put the guard down this time and press the motor. bit of the swarf in my suitable gloves I'm wearing, magnet off, slide along. The reason why I've got these bits of timber under the steelwork is to allow for the slug to pop out. Press the motor, uh, the magnet, engage the motor. go I guess you get the idea I suppose a few of you are thinking why on earth is he using a DIY product like a Black & Decker workmate but for jobs like this in our warehouse where we just want to get a bench set up quickly folded up and out of the way they're absolutely ideal so thanks for watching have a great day and I'll see you next time just one thing I would like to add I was talking earlier on about the portability of machines very soon we will have a battery mag drill in stock they've been on order for a while but they're due imminently the good thing about this machine that we're receiving although it's not a Makita machine it will run or on the Makita battery platform so I expect lots of you have already got Makita tools so that's a handy thing to know and obviously you've got no leads absolutely nothing um, the machine actually works on what's called a permanent magnet it has some kind of lever on it which you pull over or pull down I think and it sticks to the metal um, and then all of the electricity used by the um, machine is just solely for the drilling purpose and not for any magnetism um, I think it's going to be a real big seller. Anyway, look out for that. It will be available with us, I hope, in the next month or two. Thanks a lot again and have a good day.